Question number one. Zero degrees latitude is also called the letter A, Tropic of Capricorn, letter B, Tropic of Cancer, letter C, Arctic Circle, or letter D, Equator. The correct answer is letter D, equator. The latitude at zero degrees is called the equator. It is an imaginary line that divides the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres. Number two. To locate the exact places on the Earth, one must look at Letter A, the lines of latitude. Letter B, the lines of longitude. Letter C, the neighboring areas. Letter D, the intersecting lines of latitude and longitude. The correct answer is letter D. Any point on Earth can be located by specifying its latitude and longitude. Question number 3. 90 degrees north latitude is the letter A, equator, letter B, north pole, letter C, arctic circle, or letter D, prime meridian. The correct answer is letter B, North Pole. 90 degrees north latitude marks the North Pole. Question number four. In which latitude could you find the Philippines? Letter A, between 0 and 30 degrees north. Letter B, between 0 and 30 degrees south. Letter C, between 120 and 180 degrees east. Or letter D between 120 and 180 degrees west. The correct answer is letter A. The Philippines is located near the equator within the latitude of 13 degrees north. Question number five. The cold air that we experience from December to February is part of which wind system? Letter A, Amihan. Letter B, Habagat. Letter C, El Nino. Or letter D, La Nina. The correct answer is letter D. Amihan is a Filipino term of northeast monsoon, which is a cool and dry northeast wind coming from Siberia and China and blows down to Southeast Asia. Question number six. Which of the following is not example of renewable source of energy? Letter A, solar. B, wind. C, geothermal. Or letter D, fossil fuel. The correct answer is letter D, fossil fuel. Renewable energy comes from natural resources that are replenished at higher rate than they are consumed. Sunlight, wind, and geothermal energy, for example, are such resources that are constantly being replenished. While fossil fuel are non-renewable, this means their supply is limited and they will eventually run out. 
Question number seven. When the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, the northern hemisphere experiences letter A, fall, B, winter, C, spring, letter D, summer. The correct answer is letter D, summer. When the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, the northern hemisphere experiences summer because it receives the most direct sunlight. Question number 8. Which geographical term best describes the Philippines? Letter A, archipelago. Letter B, peninsula. Letter C, Delta, or Letter D, Strait. The correct answer is Letter A, Archipelago. Archipelago means a group of islands. The Philippines is considered as an archipelago because it consists of large number of islands. Question number 9. The gas which comprises most of the atmosphere is letter A helium, letter B hydrogen, letter C oxygen, or letter D nitrogen. The correct answer is letter C. The most abundant gas in the atmosphere is nitrogen, which makes up 78% of the gases in the air. Number 10. Which of the following best describes the length of day and night in the northern hemisphere in a given illustration? Letter A, equal day and night. Letter B, longer day and shorter night. Letter C, shorter day and longer night. Or letter D, all night for 24 hours. The correct answer is letter C. During this time, the northern hemisphere tilts away from the sun. Thus, it receives less direct sun rays, which results in shorter day and longer nights. During this month, the Northern Hemisphere experiences winter season.